Hello, welcome to another story time. Today's book is Arthur's Fire Drill by Mark Brown. Okay, let's begin. When D.W. was a baby, Arthur taught her not to touch the hot stove. No, he said, hot, hot. When D.W. was two years old, Arthur taught her about matches. No, he said, never play with matches. Now D.W. is in nursery school. Her teacher teaches her all sorts of things. How to tie her shoe, how to print her name, how to share. One day, the teacher said, Listen up, boys and girls. Tomorrow, we are going to have a fire drill. She told them what to do. When the fire bell rings, stop what you are doing and quickly line up at the door. Then she took them outside. Now stop, drop, and roll in the grass, she said. They all stopped, dropped, and rolled. This is fun, said D.W. But what's it for? One of the table twins said, It's if your clothes catch on fire. Oh, said D.W., in a tiny voice. That night, D.W. whispered to Arthur, I'm not going to school tomorrow. Why not? asked Arthur. There's going to be a fire, she said. You're making this up, said Arthur. Am not, said D.W. Our teacher even showed us what to do when we catch fire tomorrow. Stop, drop, and roll. Arthur had to laugh. That's a fire drill, he said. It teaches you what to do if there ever is a real fire. I don't care what you say, said D.W. I'm not going to school tomorrow. I have an idea, said Arthur, and he went into his closet. When he came out, he gave D.W. his play firefighter's hat and a very loud whistle. We'll have a fire drill at home, said Arthur, and you can be in charge. Great, said D.W. I get to be the fire boss. But first, said Arthur, you need to know the rules. Arthur's fire safety rules. Don't hide. Get outside. Never go back in. Stay low and go. If you have to go through smoke, Put a wet towel on your head and crawl out. Always use the stairs. Never use the elevator. Always remember to first get out of your house quickly. Then go to a neighbor's house to telephone the firehouse. Just dial 911. Okay, said D.W., I'm ready. She ran down the stairs. She blew her whistle. Whee! Fire drill, fire drill. Everyone out. And don't forget baby Kate, she shouted. 
What? said Dad. Just do what she says, said Arthur. She is the fire boss. Pal ran out the door, and the others quickly followed. What's all this about? asked Dad. It's D.W.'s homework, said Arthur. Tomorrow is her first fire drill. D.W. had two more fire drills that night. That's enough, D.W., said Dad. Then she made Arthur practice how to get through fire or smoke. Hey, I'm all wet, shouted Arthur. That's it. The next morning, D.W. was ready for school early. But when she got there, she saw a big red fire truck out front. Oh no, she said. The school is on fire. I need to get everyone out. Just then, something strange stepped out of the fire truck. D.W. took one look at it and screamed, Help! A monster! The strange thing said, Don't be afraid. I'm not a monster. I'm just a friendly firefighter. And he took off his mask. See? This mask helps us breathe in heavy smoke. I'm here today to tell your class how we fight fires. Shall we go in? I'll help too, said D.W. I'm a fire boss. After school, Arthur asked D.W. How was the fire drill? No big deal, answered D.W. Woohoo! You did a great job. See you soon. Goodbye.